What's up, guys? Um, just want to make a quick video tonight. Um, I had a couple people ask for this, uh, doing multiple other tiers. Um, and so I figured I would make this one. T to be honest, I don't think this, uh, this tier is very important for making a guide, because really any guide will do. Basically, everyone will tell you the same. I'm not going to explain any mechanics to you, because, to be honest, it makes it harder if you try to pay attention to mechanics in this battle. Um, I follow the same thing that I feel like everyone else follows, um, mm. and so I'm just going to lay it out for you guys, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll unlock Ray together, uh, hopefully, as long as I don't drop the battle, of course. So, uh, obviously, it just gives you Ray, so you don't have to worry about a team comp or anything. Um, all that matters is just repeating the same, uh, what is it called? The, the, the same pattern. It's just the same pattern over and over again. And you'll win, basically, 100% of the time. Ray, wherever you are, you're hard to find. And you're hard to get rid of. You know the rest of your story. Your parents were no one. They chose to be, to keep you safe. Ray, I know what happened to them. Stop. Tell me where you are. You don't know the whole story. It was Palpatine who had your parents taken. He was looking for you. Can I just say how much of a dumpster fire this whole movie was? Um, it was still Star Wars, and I still enjoyed seeing it in theaters. But, like, yeah, I... Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I wish I liked the sequels more than I do. Okay, so we got three things here. Uh, you got stuff popping up above his head that'll uh, tell you different stuff, and you're supposed to kind of respond to what's ever happening. Um, but that sounds like so much work, and it's so confusing, and there's so much RNG dependence. Uh, literally, all you gotta do is follow this pattern. So. You do faint first, and then you do strike next, and then you do parry, and then you do strike. And if you just keep repeating that pattern, uh, you'll win. And then when you hit the next phase, you just restart at the beginning with faint. So we'll do it right now. We'll do faint. And then we hit. Now we do strike. And now we'll do parry. And we'll do strike. And so now we've done the four in a row. Now we're just gonna go back to the beginning. So faint. And then we'll strike. And now that we have three stacks of the successes, uh, we now go to the next phase, which is just the same thing, but it changes the background. Uh, and then it's just going to be the same thing again. So, faint. <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting a little over a little bit of a cold. Uh, but yeah. Strike. Gosh, I almost wish I had people watching just so that way I could uh, be able to ask you guys and make sure, hey, I didn't press this one already, right? Because I lose track sometimes, and it, it screws me over at times. Okay, strike. And so we have the two stacks of success, the dual points, once you reach three. Now that I have three, it goes away, and we're into the next phase. And so literally, you just keep doing this over and over again. It's it's literally not even, like, a... I don't know, it's not even a battle. Like, it's a big game of rock, paper, scissors with way too many, uh... RNG things as well as just way too many mechanics that just talk in circles. And strike. Okay. Yeah, this is the same mechanic as the uh, SLKR event, for those of you who have done the SLKR event, it's the same exact battle. Like, yeah, you're just different perspective. Um... Yeah, uh, that's basically it. it. This is the <laughs> the entire battle. <clears throat> uh, you know, I'll, I'm gonna put some credit where credit is due and all of that, but I am going to because I love Donald so much and love his music. Um, I do vote that we uh, play some music for the fact that we're about to get Ray. You know why the Emperor always wanted you dead, I'll come tell you. No what? No what? No what? No what's from nowhere. 
Here we go. Last 60 shards for Ray. That's it. I can now unlock her. Unfortunately, I'm not the best free-to-play player, aka I got the Lightspeed Bundle and was not prepared to have the Lightspeed Bundle whatsoever. Uh, and so I definitely don't have the materials to fully level her up, and I don't have, you know, the whaling capacities that some people have. But yeah, so, Ray. Uh, I don't even have, like, the capacity to get, uh, see this, let's do it. Dude, so pumped. Third Galactic Legend right there. <coughs> so, so happy. Okay, there we go. So we have our third Galactic Legend, finally. Um, immediately take her to 85, because I definitely have that. And we'll, we'll see how far I can take her. Um, it's not going to be a lot, but I'll, I'll do what I can. Um... But yeah, I'll, I'll get some videos out if I find out easy ways to do subsequent tiers. Um, uh, like gear 9 is probably where I'm going to start testing. Uh, because I'm going to be stuck on Carbontes for quite a while, I think. Um, gosh, I don't have like any energy. I just did my dailies. Uh, oh gosh, it's more of the same thing. Well, let's... Sure, why not? I'll spend 200 crystals that I can't afford. Just for the sake of trying to get her as far as I can this right now, why not? There's my gear 9. Um, yeah. Is that what I'm missing? Carbonkeys? Uh, dang, no raid. That's, that's sad. Well, that's where we'll end is gear 9, and we'll, we'll, we'll test her at gear 9 for uh, the event. We might go up to gear 10 just because I have uh, the stuff for it. But I think gear 10 is as far as I'm going to get anytime soon. <coughs> Let's get some uh, abilities on her. I don't quite have a uh, Zeta ready, unfortunately, uh, to get her first Zeta. So I'll be testing without Zetas, which is going to be very unfortunate. Um, but honestly, I'm not sure. I'm I'm probably going to go with the leadership as the first Zeta. Um, but looking at Sudden Whirlwind, uh, with the way that this works, um, so can't be used unless Lightside Alley drops below 60% health since its last use. Uh, it needs to have dropped below 60% health in order to use this for the first time. Um, I believe that this would synergize really well with Zori in the, uh, the actual... Um, event and so i think i actually might go with sudden whirlwind uh i'll do some testing just to see how beefy she is um because if she can survive that's all that matters to me sudden whirlwind at that point i can keep procking sudden whirlwinds as people hit uh the team and then zori puts them under stealth and so basically i'm not losing anyone but i'm getting sudden whirlwinds and just destroying the other team Ugh. but yeah so we're gonna do the modding gear soon. I, I don't have any mods saved for her, so I'm gonna have to come up with some mods. But yeah, there you go. There is Galactic Legends ready for me. I'm, oh, I'm so pumped. That's awesome. <clears throat> yeah, so. Let's see where's Galactic Legends at the very top. There you go. My three Galactic Legends. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will let you know when I do other tiers and see what I can figure out for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.